Thanks for coming to my YouTube channel today. Today, I want to talk about my weight loss journey and my muscle building journey that has happened for the last two years and a half. It has been a journey because I've lost 20 pounds and I've gained muscle and I've had a full-time job all while pursuing an education and multiple side hustle attempts. So I'll tell you that, you know, anything is possible when you truly put your energy towards it. In this video, I'll briefly tell you about my journey of how I've transformed my body into the shape that it is from all the stresses of my demanding job and also my gym routine, my commuting routine, my balanced meals, and also the rest and relaxation that I do to ensure that I have more energy every single day to do the same thing again. All right, so for those who do not know me, my name is Rohana, I have a full-time job, but in doing so, I have definitely increased my gym sessions, my commute to works, I bike to work, and also recently my yoga sessions so that I can definitely get some more rest and relaxation. And hot yoga, oh, I'm telling you, it is the best. My morning routine, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning. It may not be the routine for all, but I like to wake up early in the morning, get my day going, and just literally change and get onto my bike. I've already prepared my meals for my bike to the gym. It's about a 14 kilometer bike ride and I do that on an electric bicycle. So that gives me about an hour and a half to an hour and 15 minutes depending on the ride time to be able to focus on my workout routine. For Mondays, I love to work out my shoulders. So my rear delts, my medial delts and Tuesdays I love to do hamstrings and quad dominant and glute dominant workouts so it's a, a lot of heavy lifting on those days. On Wednesdays I love to do chest workouts so I do all the various um, levels of chest workouts and on Thursday I love to do back workouts and Fridays are about biceps triceps and again I hit the hamstrings and the glutes. So Saturdays I may throw in also a full body day or if for whatever reason like work obligated I wasn't able to go to the gym I shift for that workout that I had missed. So for example I missed my chest day on Wednesday I will do my chest day on Saturday. So I get about six days of working out in the gym regularly or seven if I'm if I'm lucky and I have the energy on a Sunday I will gladly go if I have the energy but overall I aim for about six days within the gym lifting about 10 to 15 reps for four to five sets where I do have a warm-up set and I do have like a recovery set. It's a lot of heavy lifting so for me to be able to recuperate that other than through eating protein and also my eight hours of sleeping at night, I like to do yoga. The evenings, about four days a week, I, I tend to go. I'll try to do, <laughs> like there's some weekends where we have holidays, so I'll go like five, six times <laughs> every single day, pretty much. Uh, I try to do hot yoga. Hot yoga is an experience, I'll tell you that much. Like I've loved everything about it ever since I've gotten into it. I'm learning more about the positions, the movements, and it's been really eye-opening how you know, responsive my body is to different movements. And I should have known that it, it would be kind of easy to integrate that into my active lifestyle, but it was so easy. Like, I, I kid you not. Like, I love everything about hot yoga. It is absolutely amazing. So for anyone who's, you know, interested in seeing how well their body 
can incorporate movements, different body movements, and feel stretched, relaxed, and more mindful of their day, oh my gosh, you got to try it. For my weekends, like I said before, I like to do a full body day or I like to also do any missed workouts on the weekend. But if I've already hit all my muscle groups within my Monday to Friday, sometimes I like to switch it up. So in the winter time, I really like going to the track and field. So I'll like drive over really early in the morning to a high school track and field and I'll run sprints. So I'll run a whole three laps just to, you know, warm myself up. And then I'll go to the sprinting line, the 100 meter sprinting line, and I'll run sprint lines. I'll tell you, it really does something for your glutes. Like when you're going running up and down that hill, it does something for your glutes. It hits your glutes so well. If you think about it, when you're doing a kickback, you're activating your glutes maximus and your glute medius to execute the movement. It's the same thing when you're lifting your knees all the way up and then shooting it backwards. Every single time you're doing your sprints, it is so good. Also for your core activation, oh my gosh, so good. So I like to do that in good weather and also in like, you know, rainy season. I really like rainy season. I like to do long biking commutes. So I live in British Columbia, so we have a lot of biking routes. So I will go for like literally 60K. Like it's such a beautiful scenery, just so peaceful being with yourself, maybe some music and even some friends. Like I've done it with a friend or two before and it's like amazing how much, you know, mindfulness you get from the enjoyment of being outside on the bike and you notice the little things you notice like so little weird things that people do while they're driving or you know some animals and <laughs> it's just a lot of interesting things that happen when you slow down and you end up biking like it's it's a beautiful experience I highly recommend it for anybody another thing I do on the weekends is I love to um run like well let's be honest I don't love it but I love the results of running so just even the five kilometer in my neighborhood um it does a lot honestly for your body recomposition I've found that the more running I've incorporated, the better my body has reacted. Next, so nutrition. For nutrition, honestly, I've been pretty good with my nutrition because I cook at home. My husband and I, we cook at home. I have either a beef, a chicken, or sometimes like a tofu. Like I don't really mix it up very often, but for our lunches and our dinners, like I'm very strict on the sense that I have either one of those proteins with some rice and some veg and that's it. Like it has not changed. The good thing is our food is spicy. It's really tasty. Like there's nothing that derails me from wanting to eat at all. So I would say that it's all about my portion size. So when I first started to work out, I was like really, 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 really hungry. But then I decided to cut back a bit more to be in a calorie deficit. And that really did increase uh, the amount of body fat that I was able to cut. And I was able to find that you don't need food necessarily in larger portions when you're working out so much. But what you do need is a lot of hydration and you do need a lot of electrolytes to recover through, your, through it and also increasing your protein amount. And when I started to track those things and then eventually just know how much I've been intaking, oh, that changed right away, right away. And I didn't go hungry for, for anything. Like I'd be fine because I knew that I'd eat at 8 a.m. when I got to work. I knew that I would eat at 12 for lunch and I knew that I would eat around five or six for dinner. And everything else in between would be like a fruit snack or sometimes like a veggie snack or uh if i'm gonna do a bike ride to work i would have like a granola bar just for that extra energy before because i like my 
glutes. I barely have any in my muscles until like later on in the day when I've consumed some more. So yeah, like that is minimally what I have for nutrition. And I've lately loved salads. Like, yes, I buy the bag salads, but I love salads. Like that's my thing. Some tips and takeaways I have is meal prepping. So meal prepping will change your routine, literally. Take the time on your Saturday, your Sunday, or whatever day you have off, and literally meal prep. You will see how much more time you'll have for yourself in order to be able to put it towards some other goals. And that could be fitness related, or that could be school related, that could be your family related. It could be whatever you'd like, honestly. At the end of the day, if you at least meal prep a bit, at least you'll have one day less to worry about. Time management for workouts are extremely important. So for me, I wake up earlier so that I get to work out more. And that's my approach to it because I think that if you are able to invest time in yourself before the date even begins, you love yourself. Like that is the best way to show love to yourself is to gift yourself with something before the day has begun. Structure your workouts on a time. So I know for sure that I need to get to work for like around 7.30 so I can change, shower, change and eat before work begins. Count back the time and realize, okay, you gotta get ready to be out the door for this amount of time so that therefore you got to sleep for this amount of time, sleep for eight hours. So therefore I'm going to sleep at 9 p.m. at night and your day begins again. Be because like, honestly, if you implement these things earlier on, you will not be sad like with the results because you're able to push through no matter what. How to start hot yoga or biking or, you know, running or whatever piques your interest in different sport, what have you. I think the best way to start getting into those things is to literally try it out. And I know that sounds so intuitive, like just try it out. But I hadn't biked since I was a little child. And like, I swear I had an experience with rollerblading where I just fell down and I scraped myself and I just never went back on. And then I bought it again and then I tried it and I got scared and I just never went back on. So that is trying and, and failing multiple times but i think the difference with like my new hobbies and activities surrounding biking and yoga is the fact that i attach it to something that i'm striving to be better at so for me i strive to have some sort of cardio some sort of way where i can save money where i don't have to drive to work and spend a lot of money on gas find something that I'm actually truly interested in, like the beautiful nature and environment I live around by biking. So just, you know, evaluate your situation. Maybe it's a swimming pool for you, right? Maybe you love the water, going out on the water. So try out swimming, like incorporating that in your day would make a very big difference. Like those hollow holds, woo, those are, those are something. And hot yoga, honestly, I didn't think I'd ever try it, but I remember it being such a cold winter and I just wanted to feel warm. And so my friend had invited me to a community class. And so I thought, okay, that would be a good idea, a community class. So I tried it, it was half off and it was hard and it was sweaty and it was like so good that I went again. <laughs> like, honestly, <laughs> like, it's rejuvenating and that's my takeaway from it but if you don't try it you will not know like i know i've tried running and i know i don't wake up to run <laughs> i know it doesn't you know fire my passion but i know there's a purpose behind it so i that's why i do it so from 2022 to 2024 i've lost 20 pounds and I, that's all to do with my routines i've built around working out in the morning for an hour and a half, and then to biking, and then adding biking to my routine to commute to work, and then now boxing. I've started to box, I've started to learn how to swim, and I've started to also 
go to yoga and practice yoga as well. All of these things have trickled in and it all just started with me being more focused on my gym workouts. And I'm just saying anybody can do this. It's a habit stacking thing where you're interested in one thing, you try something else, it may not work for you, but then you try something else and it works for you. So if that is the case for you and you're interested at all in you know, bettering yourself, just try something new, honestly. I thought that after COVID, I was going to be in <laughs> the, the best shape ever, but I ended up just sad and upset with my body and then not even realizing that I've gotten so big at the same time. And I think the struggle that a lot of people have dealt with um, coming out of COVID was, you know, am I accepted for who for how I look, especially the fact that, you know, you're inside most days, you're not really active at all. And if you are outside, it's just, you know, you, nobody knows who you are because you're covered up. I think I, I lived in that shame for quite too long. And the thing that took me out of that was literally going back to the gym, getting into a routine. Because if I didn't do that, I would have still struggled with my body weight. But ultimately, through really good training that my husband provided and through learning different exercises, breathing techniques, postures, form, all of these things have incorporated me to become a better person and honestly more fit. I'm not, I wouldn't say athletic, but I would say that I'm closer to it because I love skipping, I love push-ups, I, I love squatting. It's just all these things have incorporated to push me to be a better person. And slowly but surely that weight just, just left. Let me know your fitness journey. Comment down below. Tell me how it's going for you, how it went for you, any tips or advice that you want to know from the audience below or from myself tell me about your lifestyle like what do you like to do what has helped you become healthier coming up next on my channel i would love to share more about my fitness routine different breathings and form techniques as well as how to balance you know your fitness journey and your lifestyle all together thanks for watching my video i appreciate you for tuning in to see how my fitness journey has gone. Please comment, share my video, like, and subscribe. This is a new channel for me, a new type of way of me sharing information. So I really appreciate like growing a community in YouTube. Bye.